hey hey what's going on guys welcome back to network chuck today we're hacking the box hack the box is pretty cool if you don't know what it is we'll talk about it we'll talk about it today but you know real quick let me close my stuff <laughs> how are you guys doing today today i'm going to show you what hack the box is i'm also giving hack the box away if you want to become a hacker if you want to learn ethical hacking which is the only way to do it the only way i can condone to do this this is one of the best ways to do it by actually hacking a box. This is a legal way to do it. You're not going to get in trouble, but you are going to have fun and you will legit learn hacking. So I'm giving away uh, five VIP plus memberships, annual memberships to hack the box and access to their hack the box Academy, which will is more instructive, more handholding hack the box is intense. And I'm about to show you that we're going to hack a box here on the stream today. Honestly, I got to be honest, guys. I'm a bit nervous about this one because I'm a noob. <laughs> I'm a script kitty. Self-proclaimed, I am. Like, I am not the, I'm not a hacker yet. I'm working on it. It's it's hard. It's a discipline. And I want to show you what it's like. I, I know, um, and I was talking with my brother the other day, and, and I said, hey, do you know what hacking looks like, what, what it actually looks like? He's like, no. And I didn't either. I didn't know what it looked like until I started getting into all this stuff. So you may not know what hacking actually kind of looks like or feels like. I don't know, man. So anyways, we're going to hack a box. It's one of these starting point boxes on Hack the Box. And we're going to do that. Now, we will be giving it away. Now, real quick, the contest is below. Link below to enter to win Hack the Box. Um, but you do need a secret phrase. It's not here right now. I want to give it to you right now. Y'all ready? Okay. Actually, we're going to go to Photoshop. Can you hack the box? Probably not yet. We'll see. I know many of you are Hack the Box veterans. Um, that's not me, dude. I'm not. But for those of you who are new, we're going to have fun. And you're going to make fun of me because it's going to be funny. <laughs> Seriously. The secret phrase today. Oh, man. What was it again? <laughs> oh, yes. Secret phrase today. The secret phrase. You will need this. Do not put it in the chat. If you put it in the chat, I'll hurt you. This is for the contest in the link below. The secret phrase is Mega... Corp. All one word. Mega Corp. You got it. So anyways, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna live hack. And it's I'll I'll be honest. I, I'm I'm very nervous about this. Um but it's fun. Like it's fun. And, and I'll be honest with you, I've done this hack before. I walked through it before the stream. I'm not gonna blind hack when I'm such a noob right now. Heck no. You think I'm stupid? Heck no. But I do know enough about it to have fun with it, fumble my way through it, and show you what it's like. So real quick, let me show you, uh, many of you know what the coolest thing about Hack the Box. I'll, I'll be honest. The absolute coolest thing. Oh, and by the way, we're giving away Hack the Box, but we're also giving away coffee and some access to Hack 5. I'm going to give you a $100 gift card to Hack 5 as well today. So, ooh, so much. You got to watch. For those things, you got to be quick. Hack 5 will be going until tomorrow for the coffee and Hack 5 stuff. Dude, you got to be quick. Anyways, coffee time. What are y'all drinking today? So to even start with Hack the Box, this is the funniest thing in the world to me. Let me show you. I'm going to pull up a new incognito tab and show you what I'm talking about. On my screen here, I've got Hack the Box. To even start, <laughs> you click on individuals. Um... You try to join now, <laughs> you legit have to hack your way in, which is kind of amazing. So you cannot join Hack the Box. It's free. It's free, by the way. Hack the Box is totally free for most of the stuff you, you want to access. Um, but you have to hack your way in. You have to figure out how to get in here. They give you hints, but it's still like it's, it's a good introductory. I had fun doing that. Um, I am proud to say I didn't get any help from that. But if you want to sign up, you have to hack the box to actually get inside. Super cool, right? Like who else thinks that's the most amazing thing ever? This guy. Once you're in, um, it is free. It is free. Let me show you. So right now I'm at a starting point where I'm just kind of going through the starting point boxes. Um, but it's free for most things. They have a bunch of live boxes, their most recent CTF boxes, where you basically have to go in there and uh, get access to root. That's what you have to do. Get access to root, and there'll be like a little flag in there that you have to submit, and you win. Um, but for any of the older boxes, retired boxes, and the ones that will have good documentation, good walkthroughs and everything, you do have to pay for. And that's where the annual membership comes in. You also get a really amazing uh, 
It's called a Pwnbox. This is just a browser-based uh, Parrot OS system. So this is what I'm using right now. And we're going to hack using this right now. Um, many of you may ask, well, what's the, the difference between try hack me and hack the box? Try hack me is more user-friendly. Um, definitely for beginners. When I, when I say user-friendly, I mean like beginners, like you're starting from scratch. That doesn't mean that Hack the Box won't be for you as well. Their walkthroughs are fantastic. Hack the Box Academy, I'll show you that here in a bit, is something new. I'm giving away stuff for that. Um, but Hack the Box is more difficult. It's more real hacking. It's more, just more real, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and start. So what am I doing? Let me get in here. I'm doing Oopsie. This box right here. All I know, all I know about Oopsie is that this is the IP address I have to attack and I have to gain user and root access. This is not pre-recorded, sir. Felix, I'm, I'm right here, dude. I'm live talking to you right now, Felix. Um, actually, I, I don't use PyCharm. Um, it's, it's just built into the box, but it's pretty cool. I, I've never used it before until this very moment. Um, anyways, so I have, to, I have to get access and find the flag for root here. I want to move my screen over so I can look at a few things here. Uh, give me one second. My screens are like all over the freaking map right now. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I have to make sure I can see myself so I don't uh, make sure that <laughs> make sure nothing like goes off or breaks. Uh, but anyways, by the way, how you guys doing? I already asked that, but I haven't really checked in with you. Check the chat real quick. Day 11 button leads to day 9 on your link. No, it does not. Here, you know what? I probably need to refresh my cache in Cloudflare. But let me make sure um, people are actually able to enter the contest real quick. Because that would be dumb, wouldn't it? No, people are entering. It's good. Uh, you might just have to refresh your browser, but I'll refresh my uh, Cloudflare <laughs> 10 times fast. Cloudflare uh, cache. Cloudflare cache. And I got used to uh, two-factor. Racing the two-factor clock. Got it. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Cool. Let's go refresh my cache real quick. All right. So let's hack. Let's hack right now. Hack the box. I've got so many amazing screens open right now. It's crazy. <laughs> I can't even see myself. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, root is admin in Linux, in case you're wondering. Can only see the intro screen on YouTube. What are you talking about? You guys are crazy. Anyways. Here we go. Let's hack this box. So all I know is it's this IP address. I am on a... So to access hack the box, you will need VPN access to get into it and everything. Um, however, if you're using one of their pwn boxes, it's a web-based uh, distro, basically. It's what's well, Parrot OS. You don't have to do anything. You're already connected and everything else. So if I launch a terminal and ping that box, 28... I can ping it. I know it's there. I know it's there. And uh, now I need to hack it. There we go. So first thing with hacking, what do we have to do? We need... Oh, I got to stop my pings. We need to enumerate, right? So I need to use some nmap. nmap is going to enumerate things for me. I'm going to find out, hey, are there any weaknesses with this box right now? So I'm going to do a little nmap scan on this. nmap, we'll do a dash s s dash a and then we'll do 10 10 10 dot 28 oh get some sudo in there and we're going to scan this box and see if it has any vulnerabilities if any ports are open that i can start attacking now what's cool about hack the box is it's kind of it's it feels more real life than most things because i don't know anything about this thing <laughs> well i i didn't before i tried it earlier but you don't know anything about it now real quick i will monitor the chat and uh let me know let me know if um, you know things, and I'll move along with you guys. So what do we see right now? On this box right now, I can see that port 22 is definitely open. What else do we know about this? Uh, did I miss something earlier? Let me see. Uh, 22. Oh, and 80. There it is, 80. Let me zoom into the sucker real quick so you guys can see. Oh, can you see it now? <laughs> That's freaking huge. 
<laughs> too big. Too big. There we go. So port 22 and port 80 are open on this uh, particular server. So I'm thinking because port 80 is open, maybe, maybe it's a website. So let's go ahead and open up our Firefox browser and see if we have a website going on right now. Let's go to 10.10.10.28. .10 .10 .10 and try again. <laughs> Why isn't it working? It said it was working. Do I still, let me see if I have a proxy going real quick. Uh, preferences. Proxy. Oh, I do have my proxy on. We're going to turn my proxy off. We're going to use that here in a bit. We're going to use that to hack our box here. Um, I'll explain that here in a moment. But let me see if I can get to the website now. Cool. So this is the server I'm supposed to hack. It's actually a website. And it looks all fancy and nice. I feel like I'm about to buy a Tesla right now. So in case you were wondering, port, 20, port 22 is SSH. It's how we command line access most of our boxes. It's secure. Port 80 is websites, right? So I'm looking at port 80 right now. Super nice website, but I need to hack this thing. My, my goal on this particular box is to gain root access, to access it via command line and just own the sucker, own it. So what can I look at here on this page to maybe help me own this sucker? As I'm scrolling through, let me zoom in so you guys can see it with me. Let's see. Let's learn some things. Now, keep in mind, I'm, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I've already gone through this. I've already gone through this. And I, th and I think very rarely, maybe on Twitch, I will actually do boxes where um, I've not done it before. But I feel like on YouTube and for a lot of you, it's more helpful for me to already know how to progress through it so I can better teach what I'm going through. I think it's more fun that way. I think it's more fun. Now, I will I'll embarrass myself on Twitch later, but for now... Let's make it more streamlined. So let's streamline the sucker. So right now, one thing I know is it says, please log in to access or to get access to the service. Now, just looking at this website, I don't see any logins. I don't see a login page at all. I don't see anything going on. Um, so maybe we should use Burp Suite to analyze the sucker, which is amazing. Check this out. We're going to launch Burp. And what this will do for us is it will we'll actually use it as a proxy and it'll look at everything that we're, is being sent between us and the uh, and the web server. And we're going to learn some things about this here. Uh, close. I'll start a new temporary project and burp. I'm going to start burp. And now we're burping, dude. We're burping right now. Well, almost. So it's, it's proxying right now, but my browser is not going through it. So I have to tell my browser... You probably use proxies before, right? To bypass your school's uh, um, filters and everything. We're going to bypass the pro uh, the uh, or we're not going to bypass anything. We're going to use a proxy right now. And uh, for Burp Suite, if you're using it on your local machine here, come on. We'll do a manual proxy config. Home address port eighty eighty, done deal. And now we're just going to refresh the screen. Now, what Burp is doing is actually intercepting the traffic, and I need to allow it through. So I'm going to go to proxy and just say forward, forward. And it's it's seen everything with the site now. It knows everything the site's doing, what it's sending, what it's talking about. And we're going to be able to kind of peel back a few layers and try to learn about this. Now, by the way, if you're just now tuning in, watching right now, we're giving away some Hack the Box. Uh, link below. The secret phrase, the secret code is Megacorp, all one word. And if you're just now tuning in, we're going to be giving away some coffee, some uh, a Hack 5 gift card, $100. And I'll be answering some Super Chats and all the questions you guys might have today. This is probably our last stream of the year, so I want to make sure I get all these questions in today. Anyways, let's start hacking. Can I zoom in here? No, it didn't. Oh, did it zoom in? No, it's just doing things. It's moving in between things. Lame. So if I go to my target here, i, I got to be able to zoom in. Let me see. Window. Because I would hate to, like have you guys like squinting right now. Let me just try to zoom in like this. Nope, 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 not gonna happen. No, 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 oh well, oh well. Real quick in the in the chat, do you guys know if you can zoom in? Maybe it's user options. Zoom in on burp and make it uh, a bit larger so everyone can see, oh here we go, view. Doesn't help me. Help. 
<laughs> okay, you get you guys can pretty much see it. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Honestly, okay, cool. Um, so if I go to target here, it's already looked at my site. It's already kind of pulled things in. And I can look at every page here and see the code. See what's going on. Which is cool. I mean, you can do that right now with your, uh, if you press F12 on your browser, you'll see everything that's going on with my YouTube uh, video. So if you're on a computer right now, you're watching me on YouTube, hit F12 on your keyboard. It'll, that's your developer tools. And it'll show you kind of what you're seeing here in Burp Suite. It's not proxying, but you are able to see stuff. Uh, but with Burp Suite, can do, we can do a bit more things. Like when I say a bit more, like a, a butt ton of things. Uh, so logins, that gets my attention. We saw earlier that uh, it told us we could log in. We didn't see a login page, so how can we get to the login page? And that's what we're kind of going to look for in Burp Suite. And I see a thing right here, a folder that says login. If I go in there, I see, here's the URL right, right here, cdn-cgi login. That's the URL. Let's try and go there. So I'm going to copy that URL, go to the browser, paste that sucker in there. I'm going to remove the script part. And let's see if it takes me there. Oh wait, I'm, I'm burping right now, so I need to make sure uh, I burp my way forward. Proxy and go forward. And forward, and forward, burp through, burp through. There we go. Aha, look at that. We found a login page. Now, this wasn't on the home page. We couldn't default, just find it. It didn't have a login button, so we had to use Burp Suite to see, hey, what's actually loading on this page? Uh, can we get kind of a directory? It did, it did crawl the website and find out what other paths were available. And that's how we found the login. So you can do that to other sites that don't, maybe these sites don't have a login, but maybe they do. Maybe you can find it. And that's kind of what we did here. Now here, this is kind of tricky because this is the second, um, I'll show you real quick. This is the second box and the starting point. This first box and starting point is the first thing you do when you get set up, you start, you, you get your VPN set up and then you go for it. Um, this is the second one. So I'm actually using information from the first box, nothing too crazy. Um, so what we learned from the first box was a, an ad administrator password that was being used. Uh, and we're going to try that now. It, you don't, you don't know to use that. It's just kind of a guess. Like maybe, maybe this will work maybe it will work. And that's what we're going to do. I have that password here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. So I'm going to try just a random username. Maybe, maybe admin will work admin administrator, any one of those uh, typical passwords that we always use might work. I'm going to try this password I got from the previous exercise and I got to burp it up. You know, I'm going to turn the uh, intercept off. So intercept will actually intercept the traffic, put it into a holding pattern. We're going to use that here in a moment. Uh, we're going to turn that off for now so we can just kind of speed through and I'm in, I'm in the website. I hacked my way in. We, we haven't quite hacked the box just yet, but we are indeed hacking. Secret phrase is mega corp. Do you know why I use Megacorp now? It's right here on the freaking screen. Now, as we're looking at this, okay, again, the goal, the goal with this box is to try and gain root access. Root being the administrator, uh, like on Windows, administrator has the, the ultimate boss access to the, the Windows machine. That means you can change all settings, change everything, you can own it. On Linux, that would be the root user. And uh, this is a Linux box, and we're trying to gain root access to just kill it, murder it. And that's what we're doing right now. So, huh, how do we do that now? Honestly, going through this, I didn't know. I, I had to, at each point in the walkthrough, I would go, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me go to the walkthrough. Okay. Okay, cool. Let me, let me try to jump through it again. I need a lot of help. I'm very new to this. And if you are the same way, that's fine, but you learn a ton as you go through it. So that, that's why I love these hack the box things and try hack me and all these things and specifically hack the box right now. They do have some handholding in there, but it doesn't mean you're not learning. As long as you like, when you, when you see, Oh, they use that. Well, why do they use that? What is it? Dive deeper and you'll, you'll be amazing. Trust me. So anyways, I just got a discord message. Hi discord. Yes, Jer. Thank you for letting people know. Oh, user options lets you, lets you increase uh, font size and burp. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see user options. Um, uh, so I, I guess load user options. Is it like a, like a file? I don't feel like doing that right now. Save it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I don't, I don't see anything specific. We're just going to skip that for now. I'm not going to mess with that right now. So anyways, how do I gain root to this? Now I can see that we have an upload section. Now, if I can upload something, that means I could possibly upload a script that could give me a reverse shell. 
Now, if you don't know what a reverse shell is, it's a very common thing in hacking. Basically, typically when you're using, when you're trying to connect to a box, when you're trying to log into something, you're just doing, you're getting shell access. It means you are connecting to a machine. A reverse shell is something you try to do to where you try to get your target machine to actually connect back to you. And what this does is actually helps bypass firewalls. F firewalls, you typically don't let outside access in, but if you can somehow trick, what just beeped at me? I don't know what beeped. But if you can somehow trick the uh, the server into trying to connect back to you, most connections from the outside are allowed in. So we're, we're going to try that. So if we can upload a payload or a script or something to try and reach out back to us and get a connection, that's golden. That's what we want. So can I upload something? Oh, bummer. So we're, we're dead in the water right now. This action requires super admin rights. I thought I was a boss with admin, but you have to be super admin. Huh. What do we do? What do we do? And real quick chat, how are we doing? Admin and root are not the same. Bradley, I mean, uh, if, you're, if you're talking about Windows machines, administrator is the boss. Man, coffee is good. Well, this next thing we're about to do is really cool. Um, I did have to refer to the walkthrough for this. I, I, most of these tools, like a lot of going through Hack the Box is learning about new tools. I never knew about. But the thing is, once you hit one box, you go through the walkthrough, you learn it, you suddenly, like, you do have those skills to move on to the next one. And you'll try those things as you move on. So freaking cool. So how do we get access to this? And again, real quick, if you're just tuning in, secret phrase is Megacorp. I'll be also be giving away some uh, Hack 5 or a, a Hack 5 gift card and some Network Chuck Coffee gift cards. In fact, we'll do that here in a few moments. Need lots of coffee today. Here we go. So how can we gain super admin rights? Now, this is web app hacking in a way. Let's go look at Burp. Burp Suite was our way to analyze this stuff. Let's poke around. So we logged in, so we captured that traffic. Let's look at the login. Okay, let's look at um, admin. And uh, okay, look here, look here, we got our cookie. So if you watched my Let's Hack Santa's website, um, that was through Try Hack Me. We used a cookie to t bypass and hack into ha uh, Santa's website. A cookie will kind of rest on your local browser and let your the, the website know that you're still the user as you're accessing different parts of the website. Here, we see that it is using a cookie and we have a particular user ID. So our role is admin and we have a user ID. Let's take a look around a little bit more. Let's see. Poking around. Try to find out if there's any weaknesses we can exploit. Let's see. You know what? Let's give away some coffee real quick. Let's do it. Y'all ready? I don't want to keep everyone waiting too long. I know if you're... You're, some of you are like up early in the morning right now, and I don't want to keep you waiting. So I'm going to get a Google form going. And you have to be quick for this. If you want to win some coffee, you have to be wicked fast. So here we go. I'm creating the form now. And what I'll do is I'll post the form in the live chat. Let's see if I'm using the right thing here. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. What is today? The 28th? God, time is going by so freaking fast. So I'm going to set up a coffee form. And the first person to fill this out will win coffee. All I'm going to simply ask you is what your first name is. Put in your email address. First person to do this, go get some coffee, dude. All right, y'all ready? It's ready. Going to copy that link. Ready, set, go. First person to get this, we'll get some coffee. Go, go, go. Quick, quick, quick. I'm monitoring it now to see who uh, comes in. And let's see if the winner already um, was picked. Dude, you guys are freaking quick. Holy crap. So the winner of coffee 
today is Alicia. Alicia was the first person to do this. Congrats, Alicia. You are fast. I'll be reaching out to you with a $20 gift card to Network Chuck Coffee. I uh, appreciate you doing that. Now, let's get back to this. And this is honestly something I'm having a hard time finding. I'm looking at the uh, the walkthrough, and one of the walkthrough things that is that the user ID is one. The uh, the ID parameter. Where's the ID parameter at? Am I like completely missing it? Is it DNT? Is what it is? Like what is it? So the user ID parameter is one, and we know that the other parameters might be used for other other user logins. Greetings from Germany. Indoor kid, what's going on? Let me see if there's uh, another way to tell that that was a user, user ID. If I, I know if I go look back at my um, my development screen here. This is, you can do this right now on your screen. If I look at the cookies, because I love cookies. There's the admin information, the same thing I would see in Burp Suite right now. But I don't just I don't see the ID one they're talking about, but they're saying that the user ID is one. And we can walk through and try to find out the uh, the user number. This user number corresponds right here. This value right here corresponds to the admin user. If I can find the super admin's value for that, then I could possibly bypass the login and gain access to the repair manager or the uh, the upload system. That's the whole point of this. So how do we do that? Well, Burp Suite has a way, and it's really cool. I, I had no idea you could do this. So um, the idea is that we can generate a sequential list of numbers, 1 through 100. I'm going to do that right now with the bash script. Let me get that going real quick. So I'm going to open up a new terminal here. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to open. That's sublime. I'm going to zoom in for a second. Paste this in here. Basically, it's just going to generate a list for me of numbers that I'm going to copy. Let's copy those numbers right now. Copy. And what we're going to do in Burp Suite, and this is so wicked awesome, is I believe we go to Intruder. So first we have to, um, which, which one I'm using again? I think it's the actual login right here. Yeah, this one here. We're going to send this to Intruder, which Intruder allows us to basically, uh, while we're while we're interacting with the website and we're using Burp Suite as a proxy, Intruder will like stop and say, "Hey, hey, hey, hold on. We're going to send something else. We're going to try and attack it and send something else and try to brute force." And that's what, exactly what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to switch over to positions. I believe. Yeah. So there's there there it is right there. I don't, that's not the thing we're trying to do. Hold on one second. It was a, let me get back to my target here. It was requ the request I was sending. There it is right there. The I, user ID was one. Sorry guys, one sec. I told you. Oh, what box am I doing today? It's one of the uh, starter boxes. It's oopsie, oopsie. Is this one right here? One of these requests is what I need to uh, work on and send. Try to make sure I'm sending the right one. Give me one second here. It's under the let me let me actually get back to this and go to um, accounts page. Okay, here we go. So it'll tell me more about my accounts page here. If I go back to Burp. It should tell me more about this. And let me know in the chat if you guys uh, know more about what I'm seeing here. Yeah, proxy inter, uh, proxy intercepts inter, uh, <laughs> to uh, rec intercept your request, yes. Let me see. Yes, this is it right here, this is it. This is it, okay, cool. This is a request I wanna see to the uh, send of the intruder. I'm gonna send that right now. 
Send. Go to the intruder. This is what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna. So right now I'm gonna clear all my positions. And the thing I want to mess with right now is the ID. This ID is what I want to change. So I'm going to add a kind of a parameter or variable here. I'm going to go to payloads. And I'm going to paste all those numbers I had. Should work. Do it. Paste it. Maybe I didn't get it. Let me try to grab it again. And this was just like a random bash script to generate a bunch of numbers. Let me make sure I copied that. Copy, and let me uh, paste it in there. There we go. So what this script will do, and it's going to take a bit, so we'll we'll do another giveaway while it's doing it. Um, it's actually going to try every ID and see if it works, <laughs> basically. See if it brings back anything uh, as you're trying to log in. So I'm going to make sure I'm doing this right. I think the one thing I have to change here, I'm fairly new to Burp Suite. The one thing I have to change is over on options, I need to scroll down all the way to redirections and click it onto always and then process cookies and redirections. Now this is where a walkthrough is super helpful because I, I'm i very new to every one of these tools. I wanna to learn it, I wanna walk through it and have fun and this is very fun, but man, I could spend hours and hours just trying to figure out why one parameter screwed me up. So it's very cool to come in and like find options like that and uh, it's 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 really fun. Anyways, I think that's what I needed. So now I think I think I'm good. If I go to target, I can actually start to attack this with what I just did. So basically, I'm attacking it by changing. I'm sending a get request, and I'm changing the ID from one to two to three to four to five to six to try and get some information off this. Let's start the attack now. Yeah, I know it's going to be a bit slower. And look at that, it's sending it right now. And I'm getting information back. So it's going to take a minute. That's fine. While it's doing that, what do you say we do a giveaway? And secret word is, secret phrase is, Mega Corp. To win some Hack the Box. So let me get another giveaway ready for you guys right now. Again, congrats to Alicia for winning that last one. This will be another Network Chuck Coffee. I have to tell you, I was really nervous to do this live stream. Actually, I'm still nervous to do this live stream. Just because hacking is so new to me. I don't I don't mind doing like uh, networking videos, but things that I'm really, really new at scares the crap out of me. But I'm, I'm, I know that this is a cool community and you guys will just play, wrong, uh, play along with me. So anyway, I'm getting the link ready right now. The link is ready. I'm going to put it in the chat. You got to be quick, guys. You got to be freaking quick. Okay, do not put Megacorp in the chat. That does nothing for you. Anyways, so I'm putting the link in now. The first person to put their first name in and their email address will freaking get this. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here. If y'all don't stop, stop putting Megacorp. Megacorp is for the, the contest in the link below. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. Are y'all done? Y'all done? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Oh, wait, that was not it. Ready, set, go. First person to fill that out. We'll get some coffee. It probably was impossible to see because uh Oh, someone already got it. Congrats to Jonathan. Dude, you're wicked fast, man. Jonathan with the Yahoo email address. I'm not gonna disclose your email address, I'm not gonna dox you, dude. But you won, dude. Hey, hey, stop spamming. Jonathan, if you just won, uh, show some love. Let me know if you did it. Guys, Megacorp is not for anything else but the contest in the link below. Click the link below. That'll be the secret phrase you have to enter to enter the contest, but not here in the chat. So stop putting it in. Stop putting it in. You're driving me nuts. <laughs> I know you want it. I know you want it, but you just got to calm down. Anyways, what do you say we do one more? When will Network Chuck energy drink be available? Shrucky, I will not be doing that. Um, I'm a huge advocate for coffee. I believe coffee is um, is healthier. Has has those antioxidants. And uh, just so you know, it is still uh, still going through the search right now. 
We're on 71 of 100. We'll let it finish up. Seriously, stop spamming. Stop spamming. <laughs> you know, while, while that's going, it's a great opportunity to do this. So I, I am giving away Hack the Box. Now, what's what you may not know about right now, let me get an incognito window go incognito window window going is a hack the box academy this is their answer to people saying hey man i don't really know how to do any of this this is really hard um they have courses walkthroughs that'll teach you stuff to uh basically classes that, and it's awesome so nmap give you the the, uh, the lowdown on nmap cracking passwords with hashcat active active directory ldap stuff JavaScript, web requests, everything else. Let's explore the more courses here. All kinds of fun stuff. So, anyways, as you're um, as you're as you're doing hack the box, you might come to a point where like, wow, hack the box is kind of kicking my butt. Like it's killing me. I need some help. I need to go back and learn something more in depth. Hack the box academy is where you can go to kind of refresh yourself. So in the giveaway today, I'm giving away five annual VIP plus memberships to hack the box, which will give you access to pretty much everything hack the box offers. I'm also giving away uh, five 500 cube <laughs> for for uh, hack the box academy. Now, what's a cube? I'm giving you some cubes. Let me show you what a cube is. Let me uh, get to my login screen because it won't show you what a cube is unless I'm logged in. Give me one sec here. There we go. Back to the screen. This is kind of what it looks like, and it's very cool. Um, purchase cubes. I think it's like thirty-eight bucks a month for a cube or for uh, five hundred cubes. But essentially, you go in there and you buy modules with with those cubes. So, for example, if you want to learn um, hacking WordPress, it's going to cost you twenty cubes, or or a hundred cubes. If you want to learn Nmap, fifty cubes. So they just kind of have a cube cube market. That's kind of neat. Almost out of coffee, and this is all I have today, man. Whew. So, anyways, uh, that's that's Hack the Box Academy. So I'm giving away 500 cubes, which which is enough to give you a ton of stuff. Let me see if my uh, oh, it's pretty much done. So back to hacking. Here we go. It scanned everything. 99 of 100, 100. Here we go. So I do know that the uh, whatever whatever response I received back that has the biggest length, which has the most data in it, is possibly the one I'm looking for. So let me see. Let me look at this one here. Yeah, there we go. That's the biggest one right here. Or one of the larger ones. Yeah, yeah, it's the biggest one. So response 30, request 30, or ID 30. Let's see if that has anything interesting inside of it. And if you're just tuning in, I'm trying to hack into a box. I'm trying to hack into a server, gain root access. So let me look at the response I received back from the server when I tried to use the ID of 30. The user ID of 30. Let's scroll through here. Can I zoom in on this at all? No. It's just going to switch me screens. If I just do this. Maybe control shift. Nothing. I can't zoom in. Maybe this. Nothing. <laughs> I really want to zoom in. Let's scroll down here. And see if we learn anything about this. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing so far. Let me know if y'all see anything on this. Yeah, I'm trying to zoom in, Thomas. I can't, dude. It won't let me. I'll have to, I'll have to look at uh, how to do this. So, okay, look here, look here. We just learned. We learned something here right now. Let me, um, I'm going to take this and throw it into uh, Sublime. And then zoom in like crazy on it. Sublime, let me zoom in. Yet another application I can't zoom in on. So this is what I just learned from... This is going to drive me nuts if I can't zoom in. Every application should have the freaking same zoom options. Why are you guys killing me with this? Maybe it's just... Oh, there it goes. Cool. So what I learned on this is that, hey, option 30, ID 30 was indeed... Super admin. And then look here what I also learned. His ID was 86575. So if I look back at my uh, my console here, I know my user ID when I logged in as an admin, the account uh, credentials I had, it was 34, 
322. The super admin user is 86575. So I wonder what will happen if I take this. Now notice if I if I go back to um, come on, let me do this. Is burping st is burp still messing up stuff? Let me get out of here. No, it's off. Okay, let me let me try to go to the website again. Let me uh, zoom out a bit. I think it's okay. There we go. If I go to uploads, notice I still have no access to this. I've got no admin rights, no super admin rights. No, I tried to zoom in on the browser, man. It wouldn't let me. Let me try it again real quick. Because I know I can... Man, nothing. I don't know why it's not letting me. Oh, let me do it there. But nowhere else. The the default, like... So, like, when I'm doing it here, I can zoom in here. It's like it's a different kind of window. I don't know. So strange. Because if I... Oh, wait, hold on. Zoom... Oh, there we go. A bit easier. Ah, okay. Hey, you guys are smart. So Lorenzo, you're just tuning in. I've already given away some coffee and some hack five, or I haven't given away hack five just yet. I might do two hack five giveaways today. Anyways, let me get this out of here. So right now I still have no access. If I happen to change my ID right here. no, nope, that's not what I wanted. Let me open up sublime again. Now the bad part about the zoom option is that I can't see anything. Let me take this ID, 86575. Y'all remember that for me, 86575. If I were to change my value to 86575 and then refresh, boom, check that out. I suddenly got access, super admin access to be able to upload something. That's exciting. So now the idea here is that I can now, with super admin access, try to upload a payload or a script that'll give me a reverse shell. That'll come back, connect back to me and give me a shell access to this server. But how do I do that? Well, I, like I told you before, I'm very, very new to all this. But going through the walkthrough, going through the awesome hack the box stuff they provide, I was able to figure that out with their help. So there, this is a website, and you can use what's called a PHP reverse shell. It's actually from it's, it's a built-in script that you'll find on Kali and on. Uh, on Parrot OS, which is what I'm using now. It's just called PHP reverse shell.php. And we can try to upload that file to the server and see if, and we'll just try to execute it and try to get it. Um, so here's what we'll do. I'm gonna open up another command prompt. And where did I put that? Uh, let me see. Try to zoom in here. I think I put it in my downloads. Uh, let's see, yeah, yeah, there it is. So I'll just CD into my PHP reverse shell and um, where's the file at there it is php reverse shell dot uh, php I'm just going to edit that file real quick you do need to edit it and make it nice and good for you you can use nano I love nano leave me alone I know many of you don't like nano I love nano it's one of my favorites so typically when you're using this file it'll be like a a default address one two three four or whatever this is actually probably i think it's, this is my accurate address right now let me make sure i am vpn in so i need to make sure it's my current address 10 10 14 8. so that will be my address cool so it's going to connect back to me that's my address and that's the port i'm going to listen on it's going to connect back to me on this port you could put 443 um you could put 80 80 whatever but i'm going to leave it at one two three four just to keep things super dead simple right now it's going to get out. So my typically you would want to save this file. Mine's already good. Who said I don't know what I'm doing? Who said I don't know what? I'll come find you. <laughs> we'll give away some coffee here in a bit. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning as I'm going. I'm learning along. I'm trying to bring you along the journey and teach you as I learn. That's what that's the whole the whole goal here. I'm not a genius. I don't pretend to be, but I do have fun doing the stuff and I hope you have fun watching me. So anyways, we've got our, we got our reverse shell ready. We need to upload it. So, uh, let me, now I'm going to, I'm going to revert back. Actually, I should be good here, but I want, I want to demonstrate this. So I'm going to, I'm going to log out again or just get back to, uh, 
So I want to show you how you can do this with Burp Suite, and it's really cool. I'll log back in. This admin. What was that password again? I gotta go grab it. What's my password? It's like Mega Corp or something, something, something. Which, by the way, is the special secret phrase today. Get logged in. Make sure I don't have access to the upload system again. Okay, so I don't. I don't have access right now. Don't have access at all. With Burp Suite, I'm gonna go over here and proxy you once more. Turn it on, so it's gonna intercept everything I do. I'm gonna go to uploads. And notice what Burp Suite does. It will pause it in real time. And this is a request I'm about to send. Notice right here, and let me zoom in once more. Let me get my browser to zoom in for me. Boom, boom, cool. Notice my user ID is the old one. I'm going to change it to the no new one. So it was 86575. This is the super admin role. I'm going to send that get request with that ID. And bam, just with Burp Suite right there, I was able to edit the request I'm sending, which is all, that's how websites interact and that's how they talk, are these uh, get request, um, put, pull, all these kind of things, all these fun things. So I'm going to upload my file. I'm going to browse to it. And let's see, it was in here and right here. So you're going to put test here. And uh, I'm going to just click upload. Go for it. Bam. Now I got a little burp down there. It's like, hey, hey, hold on, hold on. So I'm going to reset my view here. <laughs> It's proxying right now. You need to find it. I need to um, edit this once more. So it'll send it with my new credentials. 86. Wait, what was it again? Dude, I'm so my memory's crap. It was uh I wrote it down over here. 86575. I should have made that the secret phrase. 86575. And let's forward that on. Boom. Upload successful. So right now I just uploaded a, a malicious script basically to a web server. Something just like freaked out. I uploaded a, a malicious script up to a, a web server and now I have to find some way to start listening on that port and actually activate that. So here's what we're going to do. First, right now we're going to give away some coffee because I don't want to keep you guys waiting too much, too much longer. Okay, amazing Shaq. What is made exploit? What is made exploit? That's not how you get your questions answered in, in the stream, dude. So I'm gonna put you in timeout. You're gonna get put in timeout, dude. Coffee. Actually, no, let's do a hack five. Let's do a hack five. Right? This will be a hundred dollar hack five gift card. Now, <laughs> here's what I want you to do. I hope you're paying attention. I want you to enter the user ID. And I'll just go ahead and tell it to you right now. I want to tell it to you. And this is the last time I'm telling it to you uh, before. I want to make sure I'm telling it to you right. 86575. That's the code you have to enter to win this. You don't put that code in. You're not getting it. And this is for a Hack5 gift card. Getting it ready right now. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Y'all have to be quick. Grabbing that short link, copying it. Okay, you ready? <sighs> Chuck's channel does not suck. You hush your mouth. Ready, set, go. First person to enter, man. And you gotta have that correct secret code. It's the ID that we're just dealing with. I already have a first response in. Let's see if they got it right. And they did. So congrats to Not Nadie or N A T Y E. The secret code was eight six five seven five. You were the fastest. You want a hack five gift card? I'll get that to you soon. That's amazing. Congrats. That's a, that's so quick. How did you do it so quick? Seriously, that was awesome. Do not put it in the chat, dude. Don't put it in the chat. You're spamming. You're not gonna get anything from me. Not gonna get one thing. And by the way, I will be answering questions here after I finally hack this box. We're gonna we're gonna gain root. We're gonna do it. And I wanted to show you kind of what real hacking looks like. And as far as I know, what real hacking looks like. Um, anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot this step. Okay, this step's gonna be fun. Are y'all ready? Let's do this. So we've uploaded our malicious script to the web server, but now we have to find out 
to be able to execute this file we uploaded, where is it? Like it's going to be at some URL, but we don't know exactly where it's going to be. So we need some tool that could help us search through the website and find out where it is. So there's a tool. Let me pull it up here. Let me make sure you guys can see everything cool. The tool called uh, DurSearch, and it's actually on uh, GitHub. I'm going to clone it using Git. Let's see, where am I? I'm going to CD to my downloads folder. Do I have it here already? No. So I'm going to clone this. Cloning it now. Jump into that directory, CD DurSearch. I'm there. And now I'm going to use this script. It's going to be a Python script. So Python 3, DurSearch dot pi. I'm going to do the command. Now this is stuff I had to look up, by the way. I don't just know this. I had to look this up and learn it. 10.10.10.28. That's the web server we're attacking. And we're searching for anything with PHP in it, right? Ready? Let's search. And right now it's searching the website for um, anything with PHP. Trying to find this PHP file. Whew, here we go. We could use Durbuster. Here's the thing, dude. There are like a million and one tools out there for doing all this kind of stuff. Um, I think there's like five tools for each task you want to use. I just like using whatever I can find. Um, I, I don't have favorites just yet. Um, but let's see. What are we learning here? Well, hey, look at this. There is an uploads URL right here. That's probably where that file lives. So I'd imagine, I would imagine my file lives at 10, 10, 10, 20, 28, forward slash uploads, forward slash, whatever my file name was, which I named it, well, it's just php reverse shell dot php. That's probably the location, so I need to activate that. I can do that with curl. We're going to curl. That's how you can kind of interact. It's a command line tool where you can interact with APIs or with um, basically web servers, uh, HTTP requests, and all that fun stuff. But first, we need a listener. We're going to use uh, netcat to listen. So we can do a reverse shell. So I'm going to get that spun up real quick. Sudo nc, that's netcat. I'll make a video on netcat because it's actually a crazy powerful tool. And uh, once I dive deeper into it, I'll make a I'll make a video about that. I'm not going to use Postman on this. But yeah, um, oh, great. Zachary, you're on this dude. nc-lvnp, you're exactly right. So nc-lnvp, I always like to mix it up. And then my port, which is 1234. So this what this is doing is it's starting to listen for any requests coming to my server on port 1234 so I can intercept that. I'm going to start listening right now. It's ready. The trap is set. Now I have to activate this malicious script I put on that server. Let's open up another command prompt. As you're hacking, dude, you're or command prompt, another shell. I'm like all windows right now. You'll be opening up a ton of shells, ton of shells. And we're going to curl that sucker. Hopefully this works. Curl. And it's going to be the web server address that we just, we assumed it was going to be at. So it's uh, uploads, and then it was um, php dash reverse dash shell dot php. Now this should activate it, and I should receive a reverse shell on my other terminal. Are ready, set. I hope this works first time. Please let it work. No, you can't find it. So these are boxes they they spin up for you real quick. It may not work the first time. I'm gonna try it again. Let's try it again. Burp is gonna burp at me real quick. Let me uh eight six five seven five. Right? Is that right? Show dang is. Let's do it again. Let's name that new browse. Let's put the same one we just did up there. Upload. Gotta tell it again who we are. We're not just admin. We are super admin. Eight six five seven five. Ah, no no, did it wrong. Eight six five seven five. Go forward in time. File's been uploaded. Let's try it once more. So I'm listening on Netcat over here. Dang it, where my other terminal go? There it is. Fingers crossed. Come on. I don't want to do this again. Ready, set. Oh, boom. You should, what just happened is crazy right now. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in the shell. So I just gained access to this server by using a reverse shell um, payload or script, whatever you want to call it, that uh, connected back to me. I'm in. So now what do we do with it? Well, we have to gain root access. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're about to do some more coffee giveaway time, by the way. Now, we're going to upgrade our shell. 
That's something I still need to learn more about. But I do know, do know the commands, and this is what basically what we're doing. We're going to convert our shell. Bin bash script dash q. I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. I just know this is what the walkthrough says to do. I'll learn more about this later. But I'm upgrading my shell. Upgraded. And then let's, uh, I got to do a few things here. Let's do uh, STTY raw dash echo. I think we should be good. Let's see, who am I? I am right now WW data, whoever that is. So now the next step, so just so you know, again, um, I'm a noob, self-proclaimed noob. Anybody else out there a noob? So I'll, half the stuff, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm like, dude, I just want to get a feel for what hacking feels like. I want to know what, what steps you have to go through to actually figure this out. I'm kind of blown away by the fact that you can do all this. Like I'm very much an admin. I've been in IT for a long time and I know how to do things, but how to like manipulate it, hack it and tweak it. I'm like, dude, I, I had no idea this stuff was possible. So keep in mind as you're watching me do this, I didn't know how to do this. I'm going through a walkthrough. Like this is amazing. I'm gonna learn more about it. But it's fun to go through these walkthroughs and get a feel for what hacking actually is. And as you're doing each task, and if you don't know what you're doing, dive deeper, go deeper into it, learn it, learn it like the back of your hand. That's the process in hacking. Anyways, noob gang, let's do this. I should get a shirt. Noob gang, here we go. Let's keep going down the path here. <laughs> so, so if you're if you're just tuning in now, we've gained access to our server, but now we need to. Um, basically escalate ourselves to become root right now. We're not root right now. We have nothing going on. Our user ID is 33 WW data. I, th I don't think it's anything right now. Um, but what we're going to do now and let's see what do the walkthroughs say. We're going to try and see how we're going to check database connection logs and see if we can assume the role of a user. Uh, and we can check that. Ah, okay. Okay. I see. I see. So we're going to do this. We're going to check the, and you would know this just by knowing how websites work in Linux. These are like default places. So var, www.html. These are very common uh, places. CGI, we know this because we were dealing with the uh, login screen. That's a login place. And let's see here. So we, we're, li we're actually listing the files in this current directory. We got admin, db. So db, going to assume that stands for database. We're going to jump in there and take a look. And by the way, can, can you all see that entire screen? I want to make sure it's... It's good. Let me, uh, ah, should be good, right? Let me, uh, can't see. Okay. Screen is clipped. That's annoying. Let me, um, scoot this guy up real quick. I thought I had that adjusted to the appropriate thing. That should be good now. me. That should be good now, right? I definitely want to keep you guys in, in tune with me here. Now, where was I? It wasn't here. I've got so many terminals open. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we just, we just, ah, I can't up arrow. No. So we're going to look at the DB. So we're going to do, um, cat there, w, 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 HTML. CDN, so just copy that, but I'm already too far in, too far in, I can't do it now. Log in, and we're gonna look at the uh, db.php. So look at this, we're learning something right now. This is kind of exciting. I'll clear the screen here in a bit, y'all relax. Yeah, I should use Tmux. Now, this is just like a, a, a pwn box I'm actually using from Hack the Box. This is not my box. This is just something I can spin up real quickly and, and hack, and it's got pre-built tools. It's really cool, like super simple. You could do this from your freaking uh, iPad, I think. Anyways, here we go. So I'm looking at the database logs for the person that just logged in. So I look, oh, look here, look here. Robert. So right now, I'm this dumb user. I've got no connections at all. I've got no permissions. But I see that Robert made a, a connection. And look, here's his username. Here's his password. So I'm going to try and become Robert real quick. So I'm going to do SU Robert. Get enter that password I just learned. Right here. 
copy and paste. Dude, I just became Robert. Hi, my name is Robert. Call me Bob for short. Um, ID, who am I? <laughs> I'm Robert. That's who I am. I am Robert. So now, w this is pretty cool. Like we, we, and this is actually part of the uh, part of hack the box. If you look at what you can do now, there's two things, you can, two flags you can submit, either a user flag or a root flag or both. And so right now we're at the point where we could could submit a user flag. We're logged in as a user. And let's see what we're. Let's uh, go to our root directory. I'm going to cd to my directory here. I'm going to cat user.txt. Um, so that, that would be the flag I would enter. This flag right here means I did hack the box, just the user side. But now I need to hack and gain root access to really do some crazy damage. And that's what we're going to do here in a moment. But first, but first, coffee giveaway. I can't help myself. My wife's going to kill me for giving away so much coffee. My business is totally not profitable, but I don't care. We're going to do it anyway. All right. Coffee. It's like number four or five. I don't know. Again, I'm going to post a link to the, in the, uh, in the chat. No one post anything in chat. No, nothing in the chat will help you win. It's strictly going to be this form I'm posting in. What you'll have to do is put in your first name, your email address. I'm not, I'm not like collecting them to do anything. Don't worry. I'm just, just so I can email you the prize. And let's see, what's our, what's our secret phrase we're going to have just for this? Let's just say it's going to be Robert. You got to, uh, you got to put in the secret phrase. It's going to be Robert. Do not put that in the chat. It's going to be on this, this thing here I'm doing. Make sure it looks all good. Okay. I'm about to put it in. This will be for a $20 gift card to Network Chuck Coffee. Another Hack 5 one will be coming up soon. I know you guys want to do that. Y'all ready for this? Here comes the link. Ready? Set. Go. First one to do it, man. First one to do it. Gotta be quick. Someone already got it. The winner. I just don't know how. And I think this guy already won something. Jason. You're super quick. He got it right with the, the, uh, the secret phrase, which was Robert. Hi, I'm Bob. Dude, Jason, you're so quick. That's amazing. So Jason won the $20 gift card to Network Check Coffee. I'll get that to you soon, man. If you didn't win, I'm doing more. I'm doing more on the stream. I will do it. Like, probably a couple more coffee and one more Hack 5. So stay tuned. Anyways, let's get back to hacking. So we're back at the hacking. We just, uh, we're Robert. We found Robert's flag. But now we got to become Root. How do we become Root? So this is something I would, I would never even imagine knowing how to do. But I guess some of these things just become natural and you learn what to look for as you learn hacking. But if I do like, and, and this, this is where, goodness gracious, people ask me, hey, Chuck, um, how do I start hacking? How do I learn hacking? Um, I'm going to tell you to start out with the basics because all the stuff I'm showing you now might be like crazy overwhelming for a lot of you because you have to be familiar with, oh, well, this is like moving and making noise. You have to be familiar with like networking. You have to know what ports are. You have to know IP addresses and IP address spaces, subnets. You have to know about uh, Linux operating systems and file systems and, and how that works. If you're hacking Windows, you have to know about Windows stuff. Like, it's it's crazy. So you do have to know the basics before you jump into this. Hacking hacking is a, a culmination of all those admin engineer skills. So don't just expect to just jump in like, oh, I'm a hacker now. you you got to learn the basics first. So that, I, I, I digress. just wanted to say that real quick. Bob, if y'all spam, I'm going to kick you out. Why are you putting in... Goodness gracious. Anyways, let's get back to hacking. So here we are. Um, we're hacking Oopsie. Made a little Oopsie. So I'm going to type in ID. ID tells me about myself. I am Robert. And one thing you might be able to notice is that I'm part of groups. I've got my default uh, you know, Linux group I'm a part of, my Robert group. But I'm also part of this group called Bug Tracker. Now, obviously being part of a group will give me access to something, and that's the idea here that we're going to pursue. What does being part of this Bug Tracker group give me? Uh, we can actually enumerate or find out or kind of search through the file system to figure out what this will give me. So, again, this is not a command I found out by myself. I had to look it up. But we'll use the find. No, I know what the find command does, but this is actually sp something special here. We'll, we're going to do find forward slash dash type f dash group it'll be the bug tracker group bug tracker 
and then we're going to send all the errors to dev null, right? This will weed out all the errors, type 2. That way our, our console isn't just like totally overwhelmed. And we're going to find it now. So here's what we found out. We found out that being part of the group, Bug Tracker will give us access to this particular place. Let's jump there. Bug Tracker. Oh, it's not a directory. It's actually, what is it? Well, let's get to, uh, it must be like a file or something. Let's, um, let me do ls-al user bin bug tracker. Bug tracker. What is this? So yeah, so it is a file. Let me, uh, cat, let me cat it. Oh, wait. Ah, crap. Cat. User. Bin. Bug tracker. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Ah. Okay. So it is a file. And it does something. Let's run it. So we're going to do uh, user. Bin. And if you're just tuning in, we're trying to figure out how to gain root access to the server. So we're running it. So, okay, it's a bug tracker. It's asking me to provide a bug ID. I'll just provide, like, I don't know, four. Let me try it again. God, I hate that I can't do up. Just copy and paste the sucker. Paste. Let's try one. Okay, so that does something. So they're tracking bugs. It tells you what's going on, blah, blah, blah. So we could like try to look at this and find out if there's some vulnerability we could exploit or, or take advantage of. Again, I'm very much a noob. So I'm like, I, I don't even know where I go with this. But as a hacker, and this is something I, I'm, I'm starting to learn again, kind of the method, methodology behind this stuff. Don't try to like hack what you're seeing. Try to hack like maybe, maybe try to find an exploit with actual the actual bug tracking program. How can we make that do something bad? So we can look through this file and try to find something wrong with it. Uh, one way we could do this is by using the strings command. The strings command will look through a file and pull out all the, the strings. It'll skip over all the other stuff, all the you know, code and things we don't care about and pull out the strings. So it'll be user bin bug tracker. It's going to pull some stuff out for us. Cool. It pulled out a lot for us. Let's scroll all the way to the top here and see if we learn something. Um, now, according to the walkthrough, let's see. It is uh, using, it's catting root reports. And apparently this will, this will do something for us. It's using a relative path instead of an absolute path. And we can actually make cat malicious. Now, cat is what we use all the time. Like if I want to cat a file, um, if I were to make, you know, make a file, uh, touch test, I'll, oh wait, I can't do that. VI test, uh, let me, something fun, or blah, 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 and I just get out of there. I can cat and see what the file says, right? We use cat all the time. Because that program is using cat, we can somehow do something malicious. So when we run that program, we can make the command cat do something bad, possibly giving us privilege escalation, which is, I'm just now learning about. It's so exciting, so cool. So let's do this. So first, we're going to add the current working directory to path. So we're going to do export path equals temp variable path. Cool. We're going to cd into temp. And then we're going, to, we're going to echo bin sh. Make that cat, right? And then we're going to make the executable by changing the modifications. Giving it execute cat. Now, here's what should happen now. When we execute that bug program, it should give us a root shell. Let's do that. So we're going to do a user bin what was it called again? I've, I've, I've already forgotten what it was called. Oh, bug tracker. Yeah, bug tracker. Duh. 
bug tracker. Just gonna put in like one, whatever. Watch what happens now. Not what we're used to, right? Something weird just happened. If I do ID, look at that. I'm root. <laughs> I'm root. I'm the root user now. I just gained root access by by making that cat. So this is kind of like the hacking methodology. You look through what programmers and developers have, you know, writ, wrote, or writ, written, wrote for themselves to do a task, right? But they may have been in a rush. They may have done it incorrectly. And it's your job as a hacker to realize, okay, if, if you're using, you know, cat to a relative path instead of an absolute path, you can, you can, that's a bad thing. You can actually take advantage of that. And that's what your job is to take advantage of those things. It's really cool. Now, again, I'm very much a noob. You can check that out. And I'm sure a lot of you probably know more than I do about this. And you can let me know more about it in the chat. Uh, but as I go deeper into the stuff, I will be, be able to explain it better, better. Right now, I just think it's cool and fun that we just do th did this. It's amazing. Now, I'll be doing another Hack 5 gift card here in a moment. But uh, first, we're going to try and find... So I think now that we're root, that's all that we cared about doing. We did it. We are now root. But now we have to find our flag. Let me see. Uh, what can I see here? I'm going to um, CD to my home directory. Um, let me see. Uh, hmm. Let me go to uh, CD user. What can I CD to root? Yes. Okay. Cool. So look, there's. I'm in a. I'm in a root file or a root location. Um, I should be able to. Now it's interesting because I mess with cat. I can't just cat root.txt, right? Because uh, <laughs> cat is now messed up. I have to change that back. And I had to look that up, by the way. Because I am not that smart. Let me find it real quick. Un segundo. Where did I put that? Because nano is not working and I have to echo back the appropriate path. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is what I had to do. This. And then now I can cat root.txt. And there's my flag. Just like that. And we gain root. So what we just did here in this in this box, we, we hacked the box. We were able to um, hack the web server, basically, upload a malicious script, get a reverse shell. Um, we escalated our privileges to a normal user, and then we further escalated our privileges by taking advantage of a bug tracking program, uh, and we were able to es ex escalate to root, and then we found our flag. That's super cool, right? That's just the beginning. Like, this is one of these starting boxes, and I, I want to reiterate that. Like, that's, that's encouraging to me and also a little bit terrifying. This is just the beginning. This is the starting point of these hack-the-box boxes. I struggled with this. <laughs> I did. Um, so, Cause I'm very new on my journey and, very, and a lot of you might be. This is where things like Hack the Box Academy will come in, come into place because they, they teach you the basics as you're learning this kind of stuff. This is scratching the surface. There's so much more to do, but it was cool. It was really fun and it worked. Yes. Um, so let me know if you like that. If you want me to do more of this kind of stuff on the channel, I think it's, it's pretty fun. And we had a lot of viewers here today that were checking it out. So I think that was pretty cool. Um, Anyways, all there there was so much we did in that box that could be twelve videos on their own of just teaching what that was. Um, there's there's netcat. There's uh you just the, the concept of doing reverse shells. There's um durbuster or the derb tool we used. All kinds of things that we used. It's it's crazy. And, and privilege escalation is its own thing. Like man, privilege escalation. It's it's crazy all the things you can do. My goodness, I can't wait to go di just dive deeper in all those things. Now, real quick, let's do a uh, let's do a, ha a hack five giveaway. We'll do one more today on that. And you got to be quick, got to be wicked fast. What is the twenty eighth? Yeah, okay. Again, I'm, I, don't post anything in the chat, please. It's going to be strictly this link I'm posting. You have to go figure out, fi uh, fill it out. It's a Google form. Uh, all I'm asking you for now is your first name. And let's see. Um, <laughs> this is going to be for you Star Wars fans. I'll give you a chance to Google it right now. Um, but what is the name of Baby Yoda? The true name, the real name for Mandalorian. Um, you have to put in the correct answer. And I'm getting that ready now. 
So you have to put in Baby Yoda's real name. We're all geeks here. Like, I'm amongst uh, friends, right? Getting it ready now. Getting the link ready. Woo! Here we go. Copying it. And, uh, yeah, I think it's all, all set. Yep. Yeah, I got to be quick. Do not put anything in the chat. Link only. Here's the link. Ready, set, go. It's there. First person to get this will get a Hack 5 gift card, $100. It's amazing. Someone already got it. Let me make sure you get gave the right answer. So congrats to Noah. Noah, you got it right. Um, your email address began with Claws. That's awesome. That's amazing. And uh, you, Baby Yoda's real name is, in fact, Grogu. <laughs> Which, I don't know how you guys feel about that. I thought that was kind of anticlimactic. Like, I was expecting, like, a cooler name for, for Baby Yoda. Still, do love me some Baby Yoda. Do not put Grogu in the chat. That's stupid. Because it's not going to do anything for you. Anyway, so that was Hack the Box. Kind of a, a taste, a test. Um, I think you should go sign up for Hack the Box right now. Even if you don't plan on doing, like, crazy stuff right now on Hack the Box, uh, what you can do is see if you can even get started with it. Because you have to actually hack your way in to log in and, and get a login, which is the coolest way. Like, you would think that'd be a barrier to entry for people not to sign up for your program, but I think it just makes it more attractive. So freaking cool that they do this. So gotta go sign up for it. And um, most of it's free. All the, the most recent boxes are free. If you want access to legacy stuff, stuff that has great walkthroughs and stuff, you will need that VIP access, which is what I'm giving away. Giving away five, five VIP plus annual memberships to hack the box link below the secret phrase is mega corp and um, also giving away 500 cubes to hack the box academy which with 500 cubes you can pretty much get whatever you want learn in map learn wordpress hacking active directory hacking all kinds of stuff hashcat you can go crazy just go crazy i'm not fake okay okay fyuk why am i fake let me know I i'll i'll um I'll, I'll look you up are you just trolling I think he's, I think he's trolling, and he says uh, Null Byte's better. I love Null Byte; he's awesome. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna ignore the uh, the haters. All right, so real quick, let's do some uh, super chats. Now, what I do here at the end is I will answer questions, kind of a, a loose Q and A. I'll look at the normal chat and I'll look at super chats because you guys are you're paying me. I want to make sure I I honor that. Pull it up here real quick. And uh, by the way, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching me fumble through a, a live hacking box. I wasn't planning on doing a hack the box today. Um, so I was kind of nervous about it. So I quickly like went through it before. And I, I, I struggled, honestly. I'm like, oh, crap. I can't figure this thing out. Uh, but it was really fun. And I'm, I'm glad you guys humored me and let me fumble my way through it. We'll ha definitely have more fun uh, in 2021 on this stuff. It's going to be crazy. But let me take a look at the chats here real quick. Man, you guys are so cool. Um, Felix, let's answer your question real quick or just throw you up there real, real quick. It says, am I the only one that gets scared by anonymous videos? Yeah, I, they're, they're legit kind of scary, aren't they? Like uh, <laughs> every once in a while they come up and they're like announcing that they just destroyed the world or something. It's kind of crazy. The secret code is um, Megacorp. That is the secret code. Oh, I'm just looking up someone real quick. All right, here we go. Next super chat. Uh, I'll try to get to everyone today. Uh, Masa, coming at me again. I love you coming in, Masa. You're awesome. I'll be doing one more coffee giveaway before the end of the stream, so if you want to hang tight, just put me on the background. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, Masa says, uh, hey, Chuck, uh, thanks for your content. It is wonderful to learn how to use the cookies to your advantage. Yes, yes. Love cookies. Uh, real quick in the chat, what's your favorite type of cookie? My favorite cookie, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of chocolate chip, but I think my go-to, without a doubt, is snickerdoodle. I love that cinnamon taste, my goodness, all day, every day. My second favorite, favorite kind of cookie is one that you can hack. That's my second favorite kind of cookie. Does Hack the Box work on Kex? Yeah, it should, dude. Um, 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're running WSL, WSL with Kex, it should work great. I'm going to grab a random try, uh, chat here from the uh, well regular chat. Bogdan asks, uh, will you save this live or will it be deleted? No, I save everything. Um, if, if it can be of any value to you, I'm going to leave it here. So Bogdan, it will be here. Who's hating on me? Chris Knox. Thank you for 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 uh <laughs> for having my back. Um, you know everyone's gonna have haters. The way I look at it, if you have a hater, then you've arrived. I mean, I I say arrived in a loose term, like I haven't arrived. But if you have people hating on you, that means you're doing something right. It means you're doing something cool. Real M7 MD. We need those cubes. Yes, we do. <laughs> those cubes will get you some learning. Uh, David Calvin. Any tips on? Where the sysadmin failed to secure their device? Great question. Um, I think as I as I go deeper into hacking, I'm going to make sure I answer those questions, right? Like, as I hack into it, okay, boom, we hacked the box. But why were we able to hack the box? What's the big reason we were able to? And who else is uh, vulnerable for that? Because I, I know a lot of you are probably shifting from a regular like system admin job into hacking. You might be like wondering, hey, am I vulnerable here? Is it <laughs> Am I vulnerable to this attack? I don't know. Um, let me see. It's going to change camera angles randomly at times. Let's look at a super chat real quick. Um, G.I. Joe. Love the name. Where'd it go? <laughs> I love this. OMG, Star Wars are boys with their heads in the clouds. Star Trek is where it's at, or where the real men are at. I I am not a Trekkie. As much as I've uh, I've tried... I just, I love Star Wars too much. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan, like, too bad. <laughs> like, I, I, I've even read the books. Um, Timothy uh, Zahn, yeah, dude, love those books. Goodness gracious. Um, where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? G.I. Joe, you've been super chatting like crazy, man. Stop rewarding speed. You know, I'll, I'll stop rewarding speed. I'll, I'll do more, uh, I mean... Maybe random stuff. We'll see. It's just hard to do all kind of stuff. And Joe also asked about, uh, what should I add to my portfolio website at Joe Does Tech? Could you help? New IT database programming cyber. Let's, let's look them up. Let's check it out. Joe Does Tech. Is that a website? I'm assuming this is Joe's. This is pretty cool. Joe, I'm going to just guess that this is your site. And it looks fun. I love looking at good uh, portfolio sites. Really, go real quick in the I can't talk right now. Real quick in the chat, go check it out. JoeDoesTech.com. I love the the hacker here. Hack me through. This is cool. So he's got some like uh, look at all this stuff. Really neat. Some tools and everything. So Joe was asking. Um, I, I forgot what your question was. Let me throw it back up there. What should I add to my portfolio website? I think it's so solid right now. I don't know, guys. What would you think to add? Maybe some videos. I want to see your face. That's what I want to see. Um, I think uh, your portfolio is definitely advertising the fact that you have some skills, which is really cool. But I think um, show people who you are. I think who you are, your personality, is going to be awesome. People want to see that. They want to get to know you. Never, never discount the fact that people would love just to know who you are, but the man behind the hack, that's what they want to know. Um, Diego, let me throw you up real quick. Diego. Thank you for the super chat. It just says, hey, I just want to say that you are one of my faves, favorite YouTubers and IT person that inspire, inspires me and want to share with you that last week I got a job at Cisco. Dude, man, I remember one of my biggest goals back in the day was to get a job at Cisco. Like that was, that's seriously amazing. You're working for the company. It's like, it's like for a network engineer, that's like working at Google, right? Like that's, that's your thing. That's amazing. Everyone give Diego a round of applause. Woo. I need like a button that does a round of applause. Diego, that's, 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 that's just cool, dude. That's all I can say about that. That's cool. Let me ask. Uh, oh crap. I just scooted some stuff around. Now I can't see anything. I need to get more organized. That's, that's, that's awesome, dude. I'm so happy for you. I'll uh, see DeFury. Always good to see you, DeFury. And by the way, guys, I'm not afraid to, um, 
have some criticism. So if there's some things I'm doing that are wrong, uh, that are dumb, that you, that you hate, maybe like, okay, Chuck, you're, you're way out of your depth. You need to study some more. Let me know. Like, let me know. My job is to make this channel as useful as possible for you. I want to, I want to bless you guys and help you in all that you're doing. So if I'm doing something stupid, tell me to stop. I, I will, I'll make it better. Anyways, I digress. Um, so Defuri says, I like to see some hacking videos about SQL injections, a brief overview of databases, then show how to perform a SQL injection and sanitize text fields. Yes, I'll be doing that for sure, for sure. I mean, SQL injections are one of the main things, right? So I'm, I'm going to be hitting that up very, very soon. 2021 is going to be a lot of hacking. So, but again, like I, I know man, I've, I've got a strong audience and uh, across the gamut of things, right? Um, a lot of you guys are, are cloud engineers, network engineers that follow me and, and been following me for a long time, even before I got into hacking. Don't worry. As I'm talking about hacking, guess what? You have to understand databases to understand SQL injection. To hack a network, you have to understand networking. So I'll be teaching all those concepts, even demoing you know parts of the configuration along with hacking. You have to know the, the underlying technology before you can hack it. So, dude, come along for the journey. It's, it's going to be fun. So I hope you guys enjoy the hacking portions of what I do. I'll try to keep it as uh, entertaining and as informative as, as I can for everyone. Um, Sean Michael. Let me throw you up real quick. There you are. Thank you for the super chat, Sean. It says, hey, Network Chuck, first time super chatter. Welcome. Appreciate you, man. Passed my CCNA 200-301 today. Dude, Sean, that's amazing. Congrats. That exam is no walk in the park. That's a hard exam. 102 questions of just pure beating you over the head, but you did it. And that's amazing. I'm going to get the, my, this thing's like bothering the crap out of me. It keeps rocking. He says, uh, thanks for the push to do it now, right now. Keep up the training and encouragement. I uh, appreciate it, Sean. And dude, you're going to kill it. What's next? Let us know in the chat, dude. I'm curious. That's so cool, man. Freaking amazing. Um... Keep it techy. Always uh, keeping it cool. Coming here and showing some love. I love it, man. Let me throw you up quick. If you guys don't just subscribe to Keep It Techy, you should. Go show them some love right now. Uh, just show them support. Appreciate it, bro. All right, let's see. Uh, Simeon or Simon Moore. I'm not really sure how to say your name. Let me throw you up real quick. Love the channel. Dude, appreciate it. Thank you for supporting me. It's awesome. I appreciate that. Is my camera in focus? Yeah, I think it's in focus. Okay, we should be good. I'll do a coffee giveaway here in a moment. Uh, Matt Ree. Let me throw you up real quick. Uh, love your channel. Thank you. And I actually uh, bought a Raspberry Pi because of you. And it comes in tomorrow. Keep up the good work. Oh, yeah. Raspberry Pis. Y'all know how I feel about Raspberry Pis. You can do so much with it. I seriously, like, there's, there's not much you can't learn in IT with the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> Like uh, Linux, you can hack off of it. Like you can you can do most of the like you can do hack the box with Raspberry Pis. Like you can do so much. It's amazing. So, dude, Matt, what's your first project? What do you plan on doing? I'm I'm, I'm excited for you. It's so fun. All right, let's take a let's take a random chat. I'm gonna go back through here and search for a random thing just to say. Uh, tendonitis. Did I already do hack the box? I did. You're in a bit late. I did already do the uh, box. And it was fun. We hacked it. We, we gained root. It's freaking sweet. Oh, man. All right. Let me grab some chats here real quick. Get to the most the latest stuff. Uh, THR Network. All the love from Morocco. Dude, I want to visit Morocco so bad. Hey, bro, Memento. Calm down. I'll put you in timeout, man. Oh, I lost it. Well, I'm going to put you in timeout later. Uh, Network Chuck, when are the giveaway or winners from the giveaway uh, yesterday going to be announced from Logan Whitmire? I'll do it uh, tomorrow morning on Twitch. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, go follow me. Uh, I'll be doing more hack the box stuff and more um, just kind of study with me being raw and real with how I study on Twitch. So go follow me there. I'm going to go pick a random chat. If you're if you're in the chat, I want to make sure I get as many like people as I can. Uh, let me see. I'm going to go to like a random page here.
Foxy proxies are easy way to do proxies. Uh, from um, Hadi Al Halbuni, yes. Uh, I've I've seen others use Foxy proxy. Need to use that. Uh, Burp Suite is uh, awesome as well. Um, so Brumins, let me throw you up real quick. Is asking while well, going to bug bounty hunting. Maybe, maybe. Um, I'll be honest with you. It, it does sound cool. I love the fact that it's. Uh, it's an industry that anyone can just say, hey, I'm doing bug bounty. You can start right now. It takes time and practice and diligence and um, focus. And it's a lot of, I think it involves a lot of patience. So not to say that I don't have patience, which honestly I don't. <laughs> um, but right now I'm more into CTFs. I'm more into like penetration testing. I make it to bug bounty eventually. Uh, but for now, I want to focus on pen testing. Bug bounty is a great way to make money too. If you really, really dive deep into that, um, our A Dubs asked, uh, "How do I know to use a PHP reverse shell?" So I didn't exactly. Um, I guess I could have enumerated that website I was looking at. And, and if you're just tuning in, we 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 use a PHP reverse shell, a payload basically to gain access to a uh, the server. Um, you would discover in the code that's PHP. So now you could upload a, uh, a PHP reverse shell and get a connection back. Honestly, though. For me, it was the walkthrough that helped me out the most. All right, let's do some uh, super chats. Actually, let's do a coffee giveaway. Seriously, too many coffee giveaways. I'll set it up now. Here we go. Again, don't post anything in the chat. This will be a poll or just a, a random thing I'm putting out. It'll be a link. You have to be the quickest one to do this. I'm going to try and we get, make it more difficult. Actually, you know what? In honor of uh, uh, G.I. Joe, this won't be the quickest one. It'll just be the one. I'm just going to pick it randomly, but you have to get the right question or the question right. So what should the question be? Um, hmm. Let's make it hack the box related. So I'm going to first ask you for the secret phrase of today, which is Megacorp. That way some people have a chance to get this in. Make it longer. Uh, and then, and by the way, if you want to enter to win, hack the box. The link below in that secret phrase is Megacorp. Do not post it in the, in the chat. Please don't do that. You're going to spam and just ruin everyone's uh, time. Don't do that. And what should the next question be? Um, Kenny asked, do I understand how I got root via the cat command? If so, could you explain? I'm still really confused about that. So basically... Um, from what I understand, this this again, I need to go in more deep, uh, deeper into that. But essentially, we change. So the cat command is just a reference in in the user bin file. Uh, the, all if if you if you look at your user bin file, let me let me show you real quick. Maybe I can just do this. Demonstration time. Pull this up. Make sure I'm not doxing myself. If someone else has a better explanation, please um, let me know. If I'm on my I'm on my Kali machine or my Parrot OS machine right now, I'm in my uh, so I CD to user bin. If you do that yourself on Linux and then you list all of this stuff, all these are the commands that you know and love, right? If I scroll to the top here, you'll find uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Crap! Where'd it go? But basically, all the commands we, we know and love and use are going to be in this file. Uh, there it is, cat. So cat is here. So whenever you're, um, you've got path variables that tell you, uh, that tells your, 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 your terminal here, your shell, that when you enter cat, it's going to look in that location to issue that command. What we did is we actually changed that location. We changed the path for that current session, and we made it do something else. Instead of Cat, catting a file we made it actually um, execute a, a shell session that gave us root access now how it actually did that or why did that i'm not sure why <laughs> honestly um but i know that's we just we basically changed maliciously what cat does the behavior of cat does anyone else have like a, a bigger a, a better explanation of that yeah cat does stand for concatenate <laughs> which <laughs> i prefer cat Everyone go to Discord. Having a blast. Yes. Everyone go to this. Go to the Discord. <laughs> Discord. 
Mr. E. Hi, Daddy Chuck. Biggest fan. So, okay, Chris has a great explanation. This is fantastic. I love that I can just interact with you guys and get better explanations than what I have. So, Chris says, let me go find what you just said, Chris. Chris. So, the, the bug tracker binary was actually owned by Root and had the set... Oh, that's that's why. Okay, okay. so the, the set, UID bit, set UID bit on, which I, I'm having to go back to my Linux Plus knowledge here and remember that. The binary makes a call to the cat command to open the files and reports folder. By changing cat, we can make it execute commands as root. That's what happens. So yeah, so the bug tracker binary, the program basically, uh, was running as root. So when we executed that binary, it was actually using the command cat to um, cat a file, uh, the reports file. And uh, we changed what cat would do. We, we changed cat to actually create a shell for us. And it executed that shell as root. And suddenly we were root in that shell. Crazy, right? Like you, as someone who ne has never done hacking, you would never expect that to happen, but that's what happened. So Chris, what a great explanation. Thank you. That's awesome. So cool you did that. Sven says, what are the best things to learn for uh, first for hacking? I, learn the basics, dude. Networking, Python, Linux. Bash scripting is huge. Like I, I'm discovering that more and more. MT, dude, good to see you, man. My my British friend. And yes, the, the Discord command is working. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to test that earlier. Yeah, if you do Discord, if you um, do contest in the chat, it should work. Maybe not. I don't know. Thank you, MT, for, for testing stuff. Uh, Sean Michael says, CCMP, AWS, or VMware, what would you recommend after CCNA? Already a network engineer too for an ISP. So here's what I would do, honestly. Uh, talk to your network engineers or I mean, talk to the people in your, your company, talk to your manager or whatever. Find out what skill, skill will be the most valuable for you. It, it might be VMware. Like identify on your team, like, hey, do we need VMware people? Do we need VMware skilled people? Identify a path for you to move up and jump into something. If you can identify a path, a skill that you can start using immediately professionally in your current role, that's the best path to go. Because once you start accumulating that experience, at XP points, you win. Like you win. That you're awesome. So yeah, I, I would talk to your manager. Um, all of those, like CCMP, AWS, VMware, all of those are amazing skills that can be valuable anywhere. But you want to be valuable where you are, because that's going to give you the most bang for your time and buck. So do it. That's what I would do. I oh, mean, we have so many new members. Let me let me uh, shout out to my members real quick. Uh, uh, Karma, Karma by Daylight sponsor or became a member today. Thank you, Karma. Bubble t uh, top uh, tag. Thank you for joining. Exonity. Thank you for joining. And uh, James Powers. Thanks for joining. All right, let's do some super chats real quick. Uh, bubble top tag. Actually, a super chat from you. <laughs> That's so funny. So random. Let me throw you up real quick. I remember using PowerCat to mess with my friend. I don't know what PowerCat is. And by the way, guys, if you um, if you saw a person chatting just earlier, MT, one of my my mods, uh, dude's amazing. He uh, he's a mod in my Discord, and he is awesome. So show him some love. Go on my Discord and just say we love you, MT, M underscore T. <laughs> he's amazing. Uh, Powercat. Netshell. Oh, it's a PowerShell function. What I'm finding out is that learning how to like a privilege, uh, learning privilege escalation in, in Linux is cool, but man, Windows is where it's at because of uh, everyone using Windows. Daddy MT, that's right. All right, let's do some more super chats real quick. We've been streaming for a bit. <laughs> I always get to, this probably will be the last stream of the, the uh, year. So I'll make sure I get some time in with you guys. I'm going to disappear for a bit. Uh, Joshua. Super chat from Joshua. Taking this DevNet coming up in a month. IT Pro TV subscription expired. What are some good resources for this one? Um, so chat, what do you think? What do you think is the best DevNet resource? Um, I can see IT Pro TV is solid. And if you use my my link, I do get a kickback, honestly. Um, other resources, I know... Um, Pluralsight has a great course from uh, Nick. What's his last name? Nick something? Forgot. 
he's he's a he's a genius. His course is awesome and um, CBT Nuggets, obviously. I, I uh, did not take part in that course, I don't think. No, I did not. Uh, but yeah, some good people there. Some good, solid people. What's your favorite DevNet resource? Let me know, guys. Let me know in the chat. Omar, I did look at Sherlock for um, OSINT. I'll have to make a video about it. All right, let's get some more super chats here. I want to try and speed around because it is getting kind of late and I'm, my wife's going to be hating me for going so long. Uh, Jenkins. Let's pull you up. So uh, thanks for the, uh, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Thanks for all the motivation and great content. When is your next encore attempt? And any words of wisdom on that exam? I'm taking it Thursday. So my next encore attempt, if you, uh, if you guys are just now tuning into my encore journey, this is the CCMP Cisco Certified Networking Professional Encore exam. Uh, which is my last puzzle piece I need to get CCMP, to become CCMP certified. Something that's been on my list for a a very long time. And uh, my attempt is going to be on the 15th. So I recently failed it. I failed it on the 14th of December. Um, I was about ready to quit. I almost didn't do it again. But you guys encouraged me, kept me going. I appreciate that. And now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try it again. Starting January 1st, I'm going to go live on Twitch every single morning to study live with you guys in my attempt to try and knock it out. So um, your question was, Mr. Jenkins here, any tips, any words of wisdom? Um, without violating any kind of NDA agreement with uh, Cisco's testing rules, I would say make sure you know security tools and make sure you know wireless and automation. Yeah. Those, those are the newer things for the CCMP type exams. Make sure you know that crap. Wireless especially. That's where I'm weakest on. That's where I kick my butt. So do that. Uh, whiskey. Rib eye. Let me throw you up real quick. I'm going to do one more coffee giveaway before the stream's over. So y'all hang tight. It says, uh, your videos have been great this year. Looking forward to 2021. I'm starting a cybersecurity degree program in a week, and I can't wait. Coffee and studying right now. That's right, right now. Um, I appreciate the kind words. Yeah, how did I do this year, guys? As far as content, um, we definitely grew a lot this year. I mean, holy crap, we're we're at 730 something thousand subscribers now, which is crazy. Thank you, thank you. I, I never imagined this. Um, I'm hoping 2021 is going to be just as killer. I hope so. So what do you think of the content this year? Anything you want me to do more of or less of? Let me know. I'll probably do like a, a survey. Um, but cybersecurity degree program in a week. Starting that. That's going to be fun. What a journey. I'm so so excited for you. And thank you for supporting me, Whiskey. Uh, 20 bucks, dude. You're awesome. Thank you. I'm like getting indigestion from all the coffee. I need to lay off. <laughs> I seriously do. I drink too much coffee. Um, Will Batrick, let me look you up real quick. Says, uh, hey, Chuck. Oh, wait, that's not it. Hey, Chuck, have you done any of the pen tester labs? Which I've heard Stoke talk about the pen tester labs pro subscription. They have a bunch of SQL and command injection stuff. I've not. I'm going to add that to my list. Thanks for the uh, recommendation. I've not done that. All right, real quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a uh, a random chat from you guys chatting right now. <laughs> Omar, Chuck drinks too much coffee. Who would have thought? Yeah, I, <laughs> way too much, actually. Sometimes it just it, it gets me, dude. AWOL, super chat, man, appreciate it, man. If you guys don't know AWOL, he's a number, another one of my uh, Discord um, staff. I've got staff there, and they're amazing. AWOL is a Linux beast. Seriously amazing. Bro, memento. Chuck is love. Chuck is life. <laughs> I appreciate that. I don't know about that, but Jacob Pete, love you, dad. Love you, son. Um, <laughs> it gets getting weird in here. Shrek, he asked, now Chuck, what is your day-to-day -day job? This. Isn't that cool? I never would have thought this would be my day job, but this is it. It's getting on here live, talking with you guys, and making hacking content, making networking content. I'm a YouTuber. It's what I do. Kind of cliche, but it's the coolest job in the world. It seriously is. Discord in the house. If you haven't joined my Discord, what are you even doing, dude? Some seriously amazing people in there. Chuck, how can I do that to AWOL? I mean, AWOL's the best, man. <laughs> MT, AWOL's sitting in uh, voice chat waiting for you to read a super chat. So they're all in voice chat right now, hanging out. I should go join the voice chat. 
I might join it after this, actually. So um, after my stream here, I'm going to go join voice chat hangout. Don't let me forget. So MT, if I forget, <laughs> MT, MT is kind of like my boss, man. MT, you're my boss. You keep me in the, you keep me in check. Let's see. <laughs> so AWOL, can we rename to Hacker Chuck? No. It, that would be great for branding. Uh, but Network Chuck's my thing, dude. Um, hey, networking is part of everything, right? It's all that matters. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. You're awesome. MT said we're going to be waiting in VC. Okay, I'll be there in a moment. So you guys can uh, grill me for my performance and hack the box. <laughs> what about your wife? Crap, forgot about that. Yeah, G.I. Joe, I'll have to, I'll have to make a VC, uh, voice chat quick. Network security, Chuck. I like it. <laughs> NetSec, Chuck. Okay, we'll go with that. True networks are the root of it all. They are, absolutely. <laughs> what did I do? Voice chat is filling up now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be filling up. I'll get there in a moment. So let me, uh, let me do a few super chats here. Make sure I don't leave anyone out in the cold. Oh, <laughs> uh, King Herman, give me some more suggestions. Change your name to uh, Pentest Chuck. That's good. I like that. I like that. Now I have, to, I have to leave it as is. Network Chuck is here to stay. I've been working too hard on that branding. Let's see, uh, stay frosty, my friends. Get you up there. What I consider doing a sort of walkthrough like Linux or something like beginner and up. So stay frosty. You're reading my freaking mind this year or 2021. My goal is to um, give you the tools for free here on YouTube and the most entertaining way as possible to get you started with, with whatever you want to do in it. So what I love about this is that I'm going to do Linux stuff for sure from like, from like zero to getting you somewhere. And that applies to, every discipline. So whether you're not want to become a network engineer, a, um, a programmer, a hacker, whatever you want to become, that's going to help you. It's going to aid you in that journey. So heck yeah. So, um, on my list this year will be Python and, uh, definitely Linux. Uh, Will Batrick, I could have multiple channels to cover your materials. Uh, network Chuck, Red Chuck, Blue Chuck, Harbor Chuck. I, I would Chuck work nut. <laughs> I would, but building a YouTube channel is hard. It is. I've tried to do a separate channels, um, it's ridiculously hard. So I'm gonna keep it all here and maybe some random stuff on, uh, on Twitch. Twitch is actually pretty fun. We got about 16,000 people over there now and I go live on there a lot now. It's really, really fun. Uh, Jimmy X. Let me throw you up. And by the way, thanks for making this live stream awesome today. Um, I had over 2000 people in here, which is the most I've ever had. Um, barring what I did on Twitch one day when Michael Reeves dropped in 17,000 people, but YouTube, this is my record. Uh, you can try this web shell on hack the box, github.com forward slash JHDW slash hacking. Let's go look it up. That web shell sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Didn't pull up immediately. I'll just skip it, but yeah, guys, keep that in mind. Use that shell when you're hacking. Gonna refresh my page here real quick. And grab a swig of water. Mr. E coming at me with the super chats. Like crazy. Appreciate it, man. I think uh that's pretty much all the super chats today. Let me, let me throw Mr. E up there real quick. Thank you, Mr. E, for giving the super chat. Oh, I, I got one more coffee to give away. I can't forget about that. Network Chuck the Penetrator. No. <laughs> no. I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, is it curious that... <laughs> Manuel, as first of all, I'm not the god of networking, but he says, isn't it curious that you're the god of... Uh, that for me, you're the god of networking, and the Cisco CEO's name is Chuck. <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of funny. I do want to meet Chuck Robbins one day. Uh, so go tweet at him and tell him. Mr. E. Hi, Daddy Chuck. <laughs> Cracking me up, man. Thank you. The This Guy Experience. Let me throw you up real quick, too. Some last minute stuff. Yeah, 
do I have a direct line to speak about help desk jobs? No, I don't. However, do my, my discord server is like an extension of me, um, better than me actually. So if you want to go hang out with them, I'll be in the voice chat here in a bit. So maybe, maybe we'll be able to talk more about help desk jobs. <laughs> 8 bit Oni. Your wife might be queen, but when you do IT, you control the media, and that sort of makes you the dictator. At least that's what I tell my wife. <laughs> yeah, but my wife controls other things that I care about, and um, you get my drift, so I got to be careful with that. <laughs> Chuck, respond to allegations that you don't actually own a computer. Um, scandal, I don't actually own a computer. That um, This thing behind me, which can you see at that angle? Oh, that angle still shows my computer. Um, yeah, this is actually all all fake. All these buttons I'm pressing, totally fake. Fake news. You like my couch a lot, Mr. E says. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you, Mr. E. I don't understand that. All right, let's 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 do one more coffee giveaway. That's all I got. Um, I'm broke. I'm broke after this. Let's go coffee giveaway. Actually, did I did I finish the other giveaway? Did I forget that? Oh, I didn't finish doing that giveaway, did I? That's so funny. I totally like got off track. <laughs> okay, you guys are. I, I told you, I'm like a, f a fly, dude. Squirrel. Um. So this will not be. Uh, the secret phrase to enter here is not going to be in the chat. You're going to put it on this thing. This will be. Uh, I'm, I'm going to choose it randomly, but it's going to be a, a poll. I'm, or kind of a poll I'm doing a little bit. I'm going to send this now. I've been streaming too long. I'm getting tired. Are right, y'all ready? You don't have to be the fastest, but you do have to be part of it. I'll pick it randomly. Here we go. Jump in there. The secret phrase today is Megacorp. So put it in there. I'll give you a few moments to uh, all get in there. And I'll choose you at random. I'll close my eyes, click on the first click I get, and uh, you'll win coffee. Oh, the couch to my, my right. Oh, it's a chair, actually. It's a chair. <laughs> I like Mr. E's photo. It's Baby Yoda or Grogu. Leviathan God, thanks for the walkthrough. I'm out. Dude, take care. I don't expect you guys to hang out the entire time. I I stay here too way too long. You tired because you gave away all your coffee. Yeah, sure am, dude. Who's my favorite mod? I don't have a favorite. You're all my favorite. That's the most uh, PC way I can say that. Great question from Dick Sh Tickshove CCNA. So did you equal your old salary with your new job as YouTuber? How hard is it? I'll tell you this. So leaving my, my job at CBT Nuggets was a risk. Um, I'll, I'll give you this. When, when I did leave it, I still maintained my royalties for all the courses I made with them. But as soon as soon as I made free CCNA content on YouTube, my royalties got cut. So no royalties at all. So you guys know when I first quit my job, very shortly after quitting, I uh, I started making a free CCNA course because that, that was one thing I, I aspired to do. I wanted to do for my audience because it's one of the most viable certifications in IT right now. Um, but as soon as I did that, CBT sent me a letter saying, Hey, you, um, you're violating your terms. We're cutting off your royalties. So I had nothing but YouTube coming in and that was terrifying. Uh, but I will say this, uh, since I've, I've been grinding, going crazy, making videos, working hard, um, I'm doing well, I'm doing good. So no worries about me. Uh, you guys really came to my rescue and helped supported me. So thank you. But yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. All right, anyways, I want, to, I want to pick the winner. So we got 204 responses in that coffee giveaway. I'm going to look at all the responses real quick. I'm going to choose it at random. So here we go. I'm, I'm scrolling up and down, up and down, and click. Who did I click on? Oh, I didn't click on anything. Let me try it again. Whatever my cursor lands on, here we go. One, two, three, magic eight ball now. So the winner. Click. Let me try it again. <laughs> it didn't work. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And now the winner is Raymond. Raymond, you are the winner. I can't imagine there's too many Raymonds in there. So you probably know who you are. You got the uh, correct phrase right from Megacorp. 
Raymond, I'll be reaching out to you with some coffee. Let me make sure I write down your email address because you're not the first one, but you are the winner. $20 gift card to Network Chuck Coffee. All right, I'm going to answer the few super chats that just came in recently, and then i got to get out of here and go hang out and voice chat with my people. My Discord. My core group. Let me uh, refresh the page here. Uh, too blue, too true. Appreciate the super chat, dude. Says, uh, watching your videos makes me interested in networking. That's my whole point, man. That's my whole goal is to not only teach you something, of course, that's a goal I have, but the main goal I have, the primary goal is to have you leave my videos motivated to learn more. That I think is the most important thing. So to have done that for you is, I, I love that. Thank you for telling me that. And, um, I hope I can keep doing it for you. Anyways, guys, that's all I got today. Um, again, giveaway for Hack the Box. Link below. Secret phrase is Megacorp. And um, yeah, enter. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. That's all I have. I will catch you guys next time.